We're here at the Clark Preserve, a 72-acre preserve off of Autumn Ridge Road, and we are going to look at the health of our forest. Basically, I work with forest landowners to manage their forest for water quality, wildlife habitat, whatever sort of it is they're interested in managing for. Uh, I already spotted a Norway maple, which maybe we can cut down before we even leave today, which is a terribly invasive, uh, non-native tree that likes to spread throughout the forest, doesn't have particular value to wildlife, lousy firewood, lousy timber. Here's our Norway maple. So if you see that, milky stuff in there, especially if it's in the woods, pull it, cut it down. But the leaves tend to be bigger again, sugar maple on top, Norway maple on the bottom, but they look, <laughs> I mean, come on. And even the color on these is Identical. similar. A lot of times the Norway maple is like a darker green, and this is the typical color I think of of a sugar maple, but the Norways tend to be more of a darker green, but it is still pretty early in the spring too. In March or something, if we came out here, I could show you the difference in the buds. On those that are bigger and more rounded, the sugar maple, they're pointed. They're pretty sharply pointed actually. Here's the sugar maple seedling right here. Yep. I'd be willing to bet if we GPS this guy and come back, he won't be there next be year. Yep. Yeah, typically what happens is they'll get about that high, then in the winter, mm -hmm. deer have nothing to eat, especially this past winter when we had no acorns. The snow will melt to like this high and they'll just chomp. There should be everything from those little ones to this size in here, but there aren't. These are not making it to the overstory with the current deer conditions. So if we had a big windstorm here today, yes. boom, flatten this place. Those trees aren't going to make it. The deer will eat them. You will not have a forest here. You'll have like a jungle of invasives.